Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at this Noco Boost Max Jump Starter. This is going to allow you to revive your dead 12 volt or 24 volt batteries. Now this is gonna be a great option to have on hand for your lead acid battery systems, whether it's a, a gas or diesel, RV, truck, semi, or bus. Um, this can pretty much jump anything, including your construction equipment. Uh, so really nice to have on hand uh, to make sure that you're never going to have to worry about a dead battery. On the inside, it's got a powerful 266 watt hour lithium ion battery. Uh, so it's going to provide up to 400 jump starts off a single charge. Uh, once you get it all charged up, it will hold that charge for over a year with minimal power loss. So uh, just charge it up, get it stored away in your storage compartment or under your seat, whatever the case may be, uh, so that you always have this option to get your car jumped if your battery does die. You can see we've got very uh, simple operation here, very bright uh, visible buttons and whatnot. Uh, the first most obvious is our dial between our 12 volt and our 24 volt uh, settings. So depending on your situation, get that set to what you need. Up at the top here, we do have our power button. When I turn that on, you can see right now it's not very charged up. So uh, it's gonna tell us what our current charge level is. Um, we do also have a digital voltmeter down here that's gonna display the voltage of the battery that we are connected to. Uh, so we can tell if the battery is discharged, how discharged it is, that sort of thing. Uh, it will read voltage between three volts up to 30 volts. We also have a manual override button down there that's going to allow us to jump a battery with a charge below two volts. Uh, so if you do not see any voltage once you get hooked up there, uh, that does mean that it's under that three volts. Uh, so either you have something running in the car that's drawing power and you need to shut it off, or you can use that override uh, to get it charged up, uh, jumped to that uh, below, if it's below that two volt setting. On the other side here, if I turn this back on, you'll see a quick color flash. Uh, so we've got a blue and a red button or LED light here. Those are our temperature monitors. Uh, so our blue is cold, our red is hot. Uh, so if that is a solid color, whether it's blue or red, it means that the temperature is approaching the limits of the unit. Uh, if it's flashing, it means that it's gone beyond what is uh, operational for the unit. So this does have an operating temperature range of negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So you'll probably never, never have to deal with that. Uh, but if you do see those lights uh, come on, that's what it's indicating, helping you know uh, what's happening with your unit. On the front here, we do have our 12 volt plugs. So this is going to, our 12 volt in is going to allow us to charge our unit. So we've got uh, this adapter here that allows us to plug right in. And then we've got the opening there. They do include several different kinds of plugins. Um, the one that's probably gonna work for most of us is this simple AC US adapter. Uh, so we just plug that right into the wall and get this charged up. Uh, it will charge up in about eight hours uh, from your uh, AC or DC 12 volt source. Um, they also include, I believe these are uh, European, maybe some other sort of uh, options here. So depending on where you're using this, you'll have a couple of different options there, but um, most likely, for the viewers of this video, it'll be the US version, so they do include that. You can also hook this up alternatively with the 12 volt plug here. So you can just plug that into any of your 12 volt female ports that will also charge it up. Or we can reverse this and plug this into the 12 volt out and have a 12 volt port for our um, tire inflator or power inverter, that sort of thing. So we got a lot of options just in that setup there. Our next little flap is going to give us access to our two USB ports. 
Those are uh, 2.1 amp USB ports, so it's gonna allow us to charge up our smartphones or headphones, our tablets, portable speakers, that sort of thing. Anything that uh, gets plugged into a USB should work there. Do a good job of getting that charged up so we can uh, make phone calls in an emergency situation, that sort of thing. I'm gonna turn this to the side. You'll be able to see our two LED work lights. These are going to be a very bright light up to 2,200 lumens. Uh, when I turn this on, it is gonna be very bright for you. So you can see the brightest setting there, then we can turn it to a lower setting or the lowest continuous setting. Then it goes to the SOS setting. And I'll have to go back through the cycle there to get to the next one. And that's just your continuous strobe and then your alternating strobe. If you click through them fast enough, you won't have to uh, start over each time, but I wanted to uh, demonstrate a little bit there. So you can see uh, whether you're needing to get someone's attention, if you're uh, broken down on the side of the road, or if you are needing to have a steady work light so that you can make sure that you're getting everything connected, you're gonna have several options there. Then below that is going to be our connection points for our battery clamps. So we open this up. You can see we do have these cam lock connectors. So at the top of our connector, there's gonna be that little knob there. So that'll go in at the top and twist. That's gonna lock it in place so we don't have to worry about uh, pulling these loose as we're moving around, trying to get everything hooked up. It'll be nice and locked in. These clamps are a heavy duty uh, spark proof and reverse polarity resistant uh, clamp. So it's gonna be very easy to get these connected to our battery, get everything hooked up. Uh, these do have about two foot spans. So not a whole lot of room, probably won't be able to uh, set our unit on the ground and reach up to our battery, but we should be able to kind of lift it up into the battery compartment and use these uh, two foot span clamps here. Uh, this is gonna be a nice compact, lightweight design because of that lithium ion battery. This only weighs about 19 and a quarter of a pound. So very lightweight, easy to maneuver. Uh, as far as our dimensions go, it's right about 12 and a quarter of an inch wide by eight and three sixteenths of an inch deep and only about six and three eighths of an inch tall. Uh, this can be stored in your cargo area or toolbox, but they also include this nice storage bag that's very easy to uh, put everything in here, take it along with you, zips up. So you have storage compartments for your uh, cables, your uh, connectors, and then you're also gonna have access on the side here for your light and your ports for your cables. And then snap button opening there. It's gonna give you access to uh, all your control knobs and that sort of thing at the front. Nice and padded, so it's gonna provide a little bit of protection for you. And again, just provide storage for all these additional cords and everything that you're gonna have. Uh, want to keep on hand. So nice little option to uh, keep it all stored away, uh, but overall a really nice uh, jump starter for you to have on hand to ensure that uh, you're never going to have to worry about a dead battery. And like I said, this will work for just about anything, um, farm equipment, uh, ATVs, whatever you have, uh, this is going to be a great option to keep on hand. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.